Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I have pretty hotly contested um, debate right now. Should you get the 13 inch MacBook Air, uh, the brand new one that just came out, or should you get the non-touch bar MacBook Pro? So I see comments debating this back and forth and back and forth uh, on our videos. And a couple people requested my opinion on it. So I'm gonna give you guys my opinion and hopefully you guys can uh, make a better decision with this. So you really only get one processor to choose from on the new MacBook Air, and that is this one right here, a 1.6 gigahertz dual core processor with turbo boosting up to 3.6 gigahertz, and then you can choose your storage and whatnot. So just to kind of get that out of the way, gold, if you want a gold computer, if that's all you care about, you're gonna have to get a MacBook Air, okay? If you're picking between these two. You can't get the MacBook Pro in gold. So if you look at Apple's lineup here, the non-touch bar MacBook Pro only comes in the 13 inch variant. You can see the 15 inch doesn't have it. So it's just these two. All the rest have this touch bar. And you're probably looking at the prices saying, wow, that's actually a lot cheaper. Why? And the reason is, well, look at the um, processor here. You notice anything? 2.3, 2.3, they look the same. Slim, what are you talking about? Nah, look, 2.3 gigahertz dual core processor. 2.3 gigahertz quad core processor which means you get at least double the processing power right there that's a big price differentiator so when you're looking at 1500 versus 1800 you're like wait a minute it's a 300 dollars difference that actually doesn't sound so bad maybe i should get the 2018. you guys got to realize these are 2017 models okay these have the crappy keyboard that breaks a lot I'm sorry if i'm you know messing with all of your you know plans to buy one of these there's a reason they're cheaper okay you get what you pay for here now the macbook air it is about 1200 bucks for the cheap one or 1400 for the more expensive one. For the sake of comparison here, if you're comparing these two, you're probably wanting something that has a little bit more juice. It's a MacBook Pro versus a MacBook Air. So let me just lay this down straight for you guys. If you are a student, okay, and all you do is papers, occasional YouTube browsing, a little bit of Netflix, and just maybe an Excel spreadsheet, PowerPoint here and there, the MacBook Air will work just fine for you. It will last you a long time. Previous MacBook Air, my sister's got one. She's had it for years. She had it in high school, all through college, and hers is still running strong. That thing is a beast. This thing should also be a beast as well. It has great battery life. The screen is nicer. It's not as nice as the MacBook Pro. It also isn't as bright, um, but the trackpad is big on this, and uh, it's got the new keyboard. So everything should be pretty good. If you get one of these, you should be set for probably, in my opinion, at least three to five years. Now that's for the casual average user. Now, if you're someone like me and you do video edits all the time, like I'm rendering 4K images and videos constantly, so I need something that's a pro machine. That's why I got the 15 inch maxed out. But if you're kind of someone that's just on the edge, like let's say you're in computer science or graphic design or architecture. I know those are the three top comments I get or music production. You're going to want a pro level machine. If you're doing things that are very, um, I don't know, occasional, you could probably get by with one of these. But my whole point to you guys is why would you get a 2017 machine with a crappy keyboard, no touch bar, and a dual core processor when you could save up a little bit more money and get something much better? Like these 2018s are much better. They have a better processor, better keyboard, touch bar, I think the screen's better. They're just overall a better buy. Really, if you're watching this video thinking, do I want the MacBook Air or do I want the non-touch bar MacBook Pro? I don't even think the non-touch bar MacBook Pro is something I would recommend to my friends, okay? So I see you guys as my viewers, as my friends, and I'm not gonna recommend something that I wouldn't recommend to in real life friends to you guys. So. I can't see a really good case for people getting this. There could be a small few cases out there, but for most people I say, save up the money, get something better if you need a pro level machine. If you're in college and you're not sure what you're gonna do, um, I mean, this thing can do other things. It can do 4K edits. You guys can go watch iJustine's video. She did one where she was kind of scrubbing through 4K timeline and it works. It's just not gonna be something you wanna do all the time. Now on the pro, it's gonna be a little bit easier on you. Um, and with the quad core processor, it's gonna be much better. So if you're on the fence between a MacBook Air versus the non-touch bar MacBook Pro, I say get the MacBook Air if you are a casual user, okay? Or if you want the gold color, or if you want something that's lighter and has slightly better battery life. Just know that the processor in this is not the best. It's not the most high power processor you're ever gonna see. And it's a seven watt processor. So it does have a fan inside, one fan, 
and you can kick up a little bit of sound, but not terribly high. But just know it's a seven watt processor. You, you get what you pay for here. It's a lower power machine. And this is meant for day-to-day -day activities. So this is kind of almost in a sense, like the perfect laptop for the average college student um, in general. But just factor in the price, okay? This, if you're looking at $1,400 laptop, you want it to last you a while and you want it to be good. This one should last you a while, uh, assuming you're not gonna all of a sudden start you know, editing 4K video. If you plan to do that in the future and you think it's a possibility, you might wanna step up to the pro. I would skip these two altogether. So hopefully that is short and concise enough of a video to help you guys make a decision. I know this is a multi-thousand dollar deal, so I don't wanna make this too short. Uh, I want you guys to actually think about this. Think about your future, think about what you want and what you wanna do and find a computer that's gonna make you happy. If saving up a little bit for this one versus this one is gonna make you happy, do it. If you want this new MacBook Air, do it. I mean, if you've got the money for it, um, this is a good spec right here. And really, if you're just an average user that's just gonna do a couple projects here and there on it, this is not a bad spec right here. Eight gigs of RAM, 256 uh, SSD. This will probably get you through college assuming you're not doing crazy graphic design or something that's gonna take up a bunch of room. This will get you through just fine. Let's say if you're in nursing or education or something like that. Um, but again, if you're gonna be using pro level programs like doing video editing, stuff like that, you might wanna look at the pro. So leave any comments down below. I will try to help you guys out as much as possible. That's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.